Happy Tuesday, Queenie Queen. How are you? I'm doing great. Do we get to read half of the story today? Yes, we do. Aren't you excited? I know I am. I am too, kids. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. So, remember the title of the book? Tea with the Queen. Tea with the Queen. The author's name is Chrissy Hart and Stephen McKinnon. So, for the author and the illustrator, that means they drew the pictures also. Front cover, back cover, and spine. Here we go, my friends. First, we always start with our vocabulary words. Here we go. T. T. T is a drink made by boiling water. It can be hot or cold, and it comes in a lot of wonderful, delicious flavors like strawberry, raspberry, peach, and lemon. So they come in a lot of yummy flavors, and you can drink them cold too. Our next vocabulary word is queen. Queen is a woman who rules a country or a kingdom. I know a lot of you, I say, remember your mother's your queen. That means she says the rules and daddy is a king. Rose garden. A rose garden grows many roses of different colors, sizes, and also they're some of them grow really, really big, and some of them grow really, really small. And they're so beautiful. Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace is in London. It is, in, it is a home of the British king or queen. That's a big home, huh? London. London is the capital and the largest city of the United Kingdom. As you get older, you're going to be hearing more and more about different parts of the world. The next one is corgis. This is my favorite. Corgis are dogs that have a short leg, have short legs and long stocky bodies. Usually you can find you can find a furry heart on their backside. So it's really cute. It's like shaped like a heart and when they walk it goes wiggle 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 wiggle. <laughs> Our next vocabulary word and our last one is goose. A goose is a bird with a long neck. A boy goose is called a gander. A baby goose is called a gooseling. And a group of geese are called, do you remember? That's right, gaggle, 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 gaggle. Let's get started on reading the first half of our story. Here we go. Tea with the queen. And those are two little corgis are right there. And this is like a telephone booth. Let's see. Oh. Hang on to your hat, Charlie, grandfather said. We're in for a bumpy ride. Too late, Charlie said, trying to catch his yellow school cap. That spun into the clouds to get. There it goes. Oh, I hope he gets it back. See what happens next. Charlie and his grandparents, Harriet and Arthur, stared straight ahead as he traveled on the Royal Air Express. This was no ordinary vehicle. Does that look like a plane to you? Not to me. You're right, that is a goose. It was a large goose, and the name of this goose was Percy. This was the first time Charlie and his grandparents had flown by goose, and it was strange yet comfortable. So I'm thinking that the feathers, because they're so soft and warm, that's probably why it's comfortable, huh? I would like to ride on a goose, would you? It'd have to be a really big goose, though, huh? Never mind your hat, dear, Harriet said. Just hold on tight. Where are we going again? Grandma, don't you remember? We're going to Buckingham Palace to have tea with the Queen. Oh yes, fancy that, but why? Because you are a hundred years old, Charlie said. That happens when you reach a hundred. You get to have tea with the Queen and you can bring two guests. Wow, a hundred, that's a one and two zeros. Boy, she lived for a long, long time. You see, there they are talking. Let's see what happens next. 
Suddenly, a gust of wind blew them sideways. Ooh! Won't your glasses fly off? Charlie asked Percy. Don't worry, Master. I have taken this trip many times at this altitude, and my glasses have never flown off yet. Hold on, I'll show you. Let's see what he does. Think he's gonna fly safely? I think so. Look at, he's talking to them. That's why his neck was like that. Remember, we were wondering why his neck was in? Because he was talking to them. Percy did a 360 degree loop, causing Charlie to squeal with delight. Yee! Wee! Harriet and Arthur went white as a sheet. That means they were really scared. Oi! Arthur shouted. Don't do that again! That was Grandpa. So they went like this. Ooh, ooh. That's what it means when it says 360. Does Grandpa's face look scared? What do you think? Oh my goodness. You can see they're upside down. <laughs> they look really scared, but look at Does he look scared to you? I don't think so. And look at, they're holding on to each other. Oh my goodness. Kind of like a roller coaster ride, huh? Let's see what happens next. Grandma had packed their bags a week ago when she received the letter from the queen inviting her for tea. She was glad that they had dressed warmly in tweed coats and hats. It was cold in the clouds. Charlie could smell the salt in the sea air. And they traveled along the East Angelgen coast to London. So he could smell it. You see, that's the ocean. And the ocean has salt in it. So he could smell the ocean. Seagulls, these are seagulls. Seagulls flew around them, making loud shrieking cries that hurt their ears. Ah, ah, they like this. He was nervous. The gulls came close to take a look at the strange spectacle of the three mice traveling on the back of a goose. What if the seagulls get hungry? Charlie asked, realizing he could be their next lunch on their menu. He was sure he heard one say, he'd be all right with a few chaps. He wasn't too happy about flying on a big bird either. He preferred to be on the ground tucking into a ripe hunk of Stilton cheese. Stilton cheese is like a stinky cheese. They love to eat it. Now look, look at their faces. Look at all the seagulls just going all around them. You probably see seagulls at the beach, right? And that's how they fly. And then they talk to each other and they're really loud. And they even run on the sand to try to find food. I always have to cover up my food because they took my food one time and I was hungry. We're going to take off. Oh, we're going to fall off. Charlie yelled. Look at the great view down there, Grandma Harriet said, trying her best to distract Charlie. So Charlie's scared. Charlie's saying, we're going to fall off. We're going to fall off. And Grandma says, look at how beautiful it is down, down there. So she was trying to calm him down. Fast. Thatched roofs, stone cottages, and wooden windmills were below. Oh, I wonder what those things are. Hmm, let's see. The brown murky water of the English Channel slapped against the cliff like this. They flew over farms and villages along the rugged coastline. As they entered London, green parks lay below and cherry red mailboxes and telephone kiosks dotted the streets. Oh, wow. So they're getting close to where they're going to go. Do you remember who they're going to have tea with and why? Do you remember? I hope so. Okay, this is the last page, okay? After a while, Percy announced, Ladies and gentlemen, we're approaching Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament. Who is Big Ben, Charlie asked. Not who, what, Arthur corrected. Percy warned, brace yourselves for a crash landing. Uh-oh. Let's see what happens. We're going to find out tomorrow.
gonna happen. I hope you enjoyed that story so far, my friends. I have, I thought it was my favorite part so far was when Percy took them around in the loop the loop. I thought that was so much fun because I love roller coasters. Do you love roller coasters? Hi, Queen. So far, are you enjoying that story? I sure am. I hope the children are enjoying the story too. I think they are. Tomorrow we're going to read the second half. I promise, okay? All right. High five, Queen. Queen, would you like to talk to the children? Children, I want you to have a beautiful day. Be safe. Wash your hands and have fun learning at home. And don't forget, have fun being you.